All right, everyone. Welcome to Galley Lucha Libre. This match taped back in October 9, 2011 at the Berwyn Eagles Club. This Galley Lucha Libre tag team match features some very strange bedfellows as we're going to be seeing a tag team battle that has the potential to be on paper to be very even. We've got the Body of Desire, Dante Devious, teaming up with the lounge singing luchador, Henry Maxwell, who just attacked Matt Creed from behind. We've got Dante Devious paired off with Joey Rose on the other corner of the ring on the far side. Look at Dante Devious and Henry Maxwell. Look at this, in unison at the same time. Double drop kick by Rose and Creed. Put Dante Devious and Henry Maxwell down. Look at these two working together. And I don't even know if this is even the first time or the only time that these two have ever teamed up with one another. Maxwell sent colliding into his own partner, Dante Devious. Here comes Joey Rose with a huge splash. Oh, Maxwell just fell on his backside. Oh, dear. Dante Devious has a head full of stuff down below. And I think he's tasting Henry Maxwell's uh, green olives inside of the martini. My goodness. And uh, his huevos, his huevos hurt, apparently. He's yelling about huevos. But wait a minute. Joey Rose and Matt Creed are not done yet. Look at the power of Joey Rose. Oh dear, he just sent him flying with a flying splash onto both Maxwell and Dante Devious on the floor. Look at this, Creed and Joey Rose taking a fight to both Maxwell and Dante Devious on the floor. Almost say D say stop. He's asking them, how do you say stop in Spanish, I guess, as Maxwell's sent to the ropes. Double hip toss takeover. And Maxwell is hurting right now as he receives the double elbow drop by Creed and Joey Rose. And here's Dante Devious back in the ring. Now, wait a second. What did he do that for? He just sent Creed out of the ring right on his head on the floor. That was a call for. And I beg your pardon, neither was actually Joey Rose that got sent on his head on the floor. At any rate, Joey Rose sending Maxwell to the ropes. Big pickup, twirling him around, and he prepares and drops it with that side slam. Very well executed by Joey Rose as Maxwell kicks out. Henry Maxwell, as everyone knows, is a very entertaining and hilarious performer. And when you combine him with Dante Devious, you're going to have some pretty interesting shenanigans going on. And in the meanwhile, Matt Creed jumps off the top rope with that double axe handle as Joey Rose had the right hand outstretched. Creed throws Maxwell to the ropes. Wow, look at that. An exploding clothesline. Showing the great leg strength that Matt Creed possesses as he is able to take down the long singing luchador, Henry Maxwell, again. Creed and Joey Rhodes, two hungry and young warriors who are looking to have some fun at the expense of Henry Maxwell and Dante Devious at this rate as Creed throws several right-handed hooks to the jaw of Henry Maxwell. Maxwell sent to the ropes. Oh, nice Mexican arm drag executed by Matt Creed, sending Maxwell over and onto his backside. Maxwell is reaching for a tag from his wrong partner, and that's not his partner, that's his opponent, Joey Rose, on the other corner of the ring. Oh dear, he just got pie-faced, and got a big drop kick to the chest by Creed, puts down Maxwell. Well, Maxwell's in a lot of trouble already. I, I bet Dante Devious is wishing that he could have a different tag team partner at this rate, because his usual tag team partner, David Tower, is in a match later on in this event, and he is not available for this tag team bout. Here's Matt Creed on the ropes. Maxwell wiggling his arms and trying to get out of Harden's way. And here's Matt Creed just raining 10 fists upon the head of Maxwell, making him staggered even some more. Uh-oh, Maxwell apparently has hurt his left knee very badly. I think he might have twisted it as he was being rotated there on the Irish whip attempt into that far corner. We got Seymour Butts backing up the bus that is Matt Creed. And Seymour Butts might be checking to see if this man, Maxwell, can continue at this rate. I don't know what exactly happened at that particular juncture when his whole entire body was twisted around. But uh, apparently, Maxwell has caused some significant damage to that left knee. And he's, he's, he's right there by the ropes. I don't know if Creed is legally allowed to attack his opponent while he is that close to the ropes. Watch out from behind. Dante Devious attacking Matt Creed out of nowhere. And now, Maxwell in the front face lock makes a falling tag to his partner Dante Devious in the corner. 
Now Dante Devious, the fresh man, working over Matt Creed with vicious, hard-hitting forearm strikes. And this is going to do a lot of damage to the lap muscle on the right-hand side. Dante Devious with a walking, then jogging, then running sidewalk slam as he poses for the audience in the Berwyn Eagles Club for this exclusive tag team presentation. Dante Devious with a well-executed suplex as Matt Creed suffered a lot of damage on the impact of that drop, putting him into the, that sad situation. We got Dante Devious trying to choke the man in the corner. And wait a second, Dante Devious doesn't want to do that. He does not want to get into the, the face of Seymour Butts and push him around because he might be disqualified if he continues to try to exercise a physical authority against the referee in this bout. Maxwell now biting on Matt Creed. I think this man, Maxwell, might have uh, missed dinner or two, or maybe three, over the past several days, because it looks like he's hungry. Big body slam by Maxwell, and Maxwell says he's going to do some revolutions, some rotations, as he climbs the ropes one at a time. He, he looks a little scared. He's, he's holding on to the ropes for dear life. Right? But, but he has changed his mind. He's going to fly from the bottom rope, and a beautiful fist drop right on target onto the right-hand side of the jaw of Creed as Creed is in trouble but manages to force his way upwards to avoid losing the match. And now you can see that Henry Maxwell is blatantly trying to wiggle that arm in the direction of Joey Rose as to tease him to make a tag. And there it is again. Maxwell is biting on the flesh of the hand of Matt Creed. What, what sort of purpose does that serve? This guy Maxwell is a strange cat, a strange character, if we can say so at the very least. I think he's actually wearing a full suit in the ring during this match. I don't understand this. Dante Devious with a nasty knee lift puts Matt Creed bent over in the corner. And then that running knee lift hurt Matt Creed even worse than the last one. Quick tag made by Dante Devious, allowing himself to remain fresh in this point. And there's Dante Devious continuing to just destroy and dismantle Matt Creed's chest with over-the-top forearm strikes. Maxwell has still got the referee's attention. The fans are going berserk around here. Matt Creed is being unnecessarily abused at this rate. Creed trying to fire back with some right hands. Uh oh watch out. Just got tripped up by Maxwell from behind. He's got a hold of that left ankle. Creed, look at that! A backwards mule kick. Nice backwards pressing kick was able to take Maxwell off of his feet. And Maxwell's probably singing all sorts of lounge singing uh, songs at this rate. Maybe some karaoke at this rate. But that, look at this. Now tags made on both sides. We've got Dante Devious in the ring and Joey Rose. Rose with two clotheslines takes down both Dante Devious and Maxwell. Big body slam by Joey Rose onto Dante Devious. What power display by this man. And another body slam to Maxwell. And his back must be in shambles at the moment. Watch out from behind, Maxwell with a double axe handle to Joey Rose. And now Dante Devious and Maxwell trying to work together as an alliance on the only man on the other side that's fresh. Ducks the clothesline, big double clothesline by Joey Rose. Knocks Dante Devious and Maxwell off their feet. Dante Devious trying to reach for anything in order to get back to his feet. And Joey Rose picks up Dante Devious again and plants him in the middle of the ring with a body slam. Look at this, Matt Creed climbing the ropes. There was no tag made, and apparently he's going to go try to do... Oh, wait a second! Maxwell just tripped up Creed in the corner and just straddled him on that top rope. Joey Rose just, just saw that Maxwell in the corner of his eye just inflicted that damage, and now Joey Rose is reaching for Maxwell on the outside of the ring. Oh, my! Clubbing elbow smash in the back of the head by Dante Devious. And Dante Devious picks up Joey Rose. Big backdrop suplex. And now we've got Matt Creed paired up with Maxwell in the ring. Matt Creed trying to ward off the attacks that happened earlier. Big jawbreaker by Maxwell. Oh, dear. Oh, wow! Springboard second rope stinging jaw buster by Henry Maxwell. And now... Maxwell is calling for his partner, Dante Devious, to try to pick up the missing pieces, and instead he's going to rotate his goodies on Matt Creed's head. Uh-oh, he's setting him up for the big one. Dante Devious setting him up for that full Nelson clutch, and Matt Creed has to tap out. It's all over, and he's been assaulted here at the hands of the Carib Caribbean cartel's Dante Devious. And Henry Maxwell and Dante Devious get an unordinary victory here in this battle tonight.
What is he doing with the cameraman? Dante Devious and Henry Maxwell have won it.